Dan, what do you think about the way old arcade games look? Yeah, well, when are we talking about? We're talking like 80s. I'm talking like vectors specifically. Like Tempest and Star Wars? Yes, and... Tempest and Star Wars. I think they look real cool. All right, well, this, this game is Trace Vector for the PC. It's like eight bucks. Um, and they are uh, going for that visual style. Okay. In a game that, uh, you know, maybe not a ton to it, but I actually haven't watched this intro yet. Um, and I did see some stuff after I kind of finished the first set of levels in this game that made it look like they they did some work, found made some cool vector stuff. Okay. Um, so I, I almost want to watch this a little bit and see. Man, here we go. Yep. There's a thing. It's a ship, maybe? It's called, it's probably a ship. This has a has a big narrative, it seems. Yeah, some kind of space pylon. Yep, yep. The pylon's a cone, right? Y yeah, pretty much. Okay, like a... Like a space like, cone. Okay. Like an ice cream cone, but... In space. In space. Okay. Uh, so, Trace Vector. We'll start at the start, uh, because it did not import my progress when I was playing on the Mac version of the game. Um... Oh, is this gonna be like Kirby, Kirby Canvas Curse? No. Okay. Is it gonna be like Line Rider? Mm, no. So it's gonna draw the level here. Okay, you are not doing this. I am not playing. It, it, this is just showing me the shape of the level. You probably don't want to go down to those red ones That's, or up to that red one. You're right, yes. Is this a memorization based thing? No, because we're just gonna go, and it's basically gonna kind of tell us what to do here for this first level. We want to go up. No, okay. no real reason why we have to go up here. There's no up or down would work yeah, up here. Yeah, right? down would, would work there as well because we, we get around here. But but specifically up. here, we should avoid dead end branches. We? Who's we? The ro the royal we. Oh, okay. So yeah, probably down there. Okay. Yeah. I think I got this figured out. Yeah. So I'm I can probably kinda, up. I can kind of hit this stuff, you know, kind of on the fly here. We can safely escape using the green launcher. Here we go. All Perfect. Right. Uh, so that was you know the, the first level with no real objectives in place, but now it's gonna kind of start to reveal what you're really doing, and that's so, collecting these glowy boxes. Gotcha, do you have to get all of them to complete the level? Uh, I mean, that's if you want to keep getting perfect, then yes. Oh, okay. Uh, otherwise, it's just, you know, don't, you know, we should uh, gather as many fuel cells as possible. Is so it, we want to go up for there. Uh, here we want to go down. Does it kind of pause at each dot? It's pausing at a few of them, but that's just because we're in the early going here. Okay, whoa. We want to go down. We want to go up here and then down. And this is all just arrow keys, and right? Then, yeah, yeah, it's just up, up. I'm hitting W and S, actually. Okay. Oh, crap. We got all these fuel cells. Everything's good. I like the music. Yeah. I like the, yeah, that, that little sound effect there. I like the effects. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. The game itself is, is maybe the part that is not grabbing me so much, <laughs> but I like its style a whole lot. Okay. Big fuel meter at the bottom and stuff. It's, yeah. So would the fuel meter run out if you just t take too many wide turns or go places you don't need to go? Yeah, because these are fuel cells that I'm collecting here. So uh, this is going to get us you know, Oh, extra so if you fuel. don't get those. Okay, gotcha. So I assume you can't double back, right? You're just kind of... So that's go. the thing, is, is if I do screw up, I can hit the backspace key and, and get another crack at it, but that uses fuel. Okay. And probably won't get a great ranking at the end. Yeah, right? probably not. All right, now we got to mash on the low punch buttons and... Is your fuel staying uh, consistent from level to level? It is, yes. So if you finish this one with just a sliver, you're going to start the next one like that. Basically, yeah. Um, so, you know, it, it's it's bashing up like eight levels at a time, or I guess one, six levels here uh, in a row, and then we're scored at the end of these six levels. Okay. As for, for adventure mode. All right, so we'll get that one. And then we want to kind of just, we want to say, hey, we're going down. And it's giving us these arrows to kind of just, you know, whatever. It's 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 showing us the way to go here for these for this first set. We can kind of hit up at any point, and it'll just go up at the next intersections it sees. You have to hold it, or no. just okay. I can just tap it. You see the little circle? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's kind of saying if I'm oh, if I'm going up or down. Gotcha. Uh, that's that's as I hit the buttons, it's it's moving that circle up or down. You know what this weirdly reminds me of? Did you ever play Anticipation on NES? Yeah. Or it would draw stuff? Sure. Yeah. I don't know why this is reminding me of that. That, I mean, it's a line. Yeah, yeah, it had lines in that. This has lines. Lines. Yeah. It's like Line Rider yeah. without the writing. A lot of games have lines. Mm-hmm. Only the best ones do, though. That's true. 
All right, so now we want to go down, but then okay, so we can oh. also we can also slow down time if things get too hectic. So let's oh. leave backspace and actually erase back to that's that spot there. Now is it a back to checkpoint or is backspace always back to the beginning? Mm, I don't know. That's the first time I've used it. Hmm. All right, so, so we're gonna go down, then down. up. There we go. Then we go down here, and then we want to go up, and then down, and then up. And All then right. down, and then, and then up. up. Hundred percent success rate so far. Yes. I think you do. But only because I went back there. You know. I... Uh, there's a soundtrack edition of this if you want to download the soundtrack as well on Steam. I am really liking it. All right. So we want to go. Down, then up. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh god. Now, do you actually have to do down and up on that, or no? Or? If I'm okay. if I if I'm down, if I'm oh geez, <laughs> if I'm already pointed down, it'll go down automatically at every intersection it hits. Okay. Uh, so the goal is to you know you kind of need to just you only need to tap it when you want to change that. Gotcha. Whoa. By the way, remember that thing from the beginning? Yeah. Where was there was a story? Yeah. Here's more of that. That's what people want when they play vector games. Yeah, no, it's the rich, the tapestry woven by Tempest. Yep. Uh, I think is, you know, one of gaming's greatest stories. What was fighting it? against the red bow ties. And then there was a there was a tunnel. Yeah. You could go on a ceiling. And there's a lot of tunnels. Yep. It's like the first sewer shark, really. Basically. Except it didn't have someone going six, three, <laughs> nine, or you know, it was simpler times then. Well, right, right. You couldn't have FMV six, three, nine. Yeah. Something. Look at that ship. That it's was, out of here. That's cool. Yeah, I thought that was pretty awesome too. And then it gives us a score and says like, hey, on that last level, you really could have done better. So are are these levels bundled? Like like this is five levels or whatever. It's yeah. There's there's six levels here, and then it kind of will take us back to. Can't use the keyboards, just enter enter letters, have to do it the arcadey way, which right. on one hand I respect, on the <laughs> other hand, come on. We have better ways of doing that now. Yeah. Um Yeah, so you see, I'm I'm picking groups of levels. Okay. So let's try the cosmic void. There's 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 another uh mode as well, which I think might be might be more interesting. I, I saw it said endless. I wonder if that's like Yeah, a yeah. So really the, the endless mode is yeah, it, it seems like it could be pretty awesome. Does it ever actually try to draw anything, or is it just kind of like, hey, here's a bunch of shapes and lines? This is the first time, but you, you've seen as much of the game as I have now. Oh, okay. So from here on out, other than the part where I played endless mode and did horribly okay. once. Um, all right, so these things are going to speed us up. Ooh, permanently? Yeah. All right, so we go down, we go up, we go down, up, down, up. Down. Down. Yeah. And we're out of here. Perfect. That one's easy. I could do that one all day long. <laughs> that would probably get pretty boring if I just tried to do it all day long. Yeah, you'd get bored real quick. Mm. Oh boy. Oh, okay. I so think... I want to go down, up, down, up, up. But you can s slow down time. Don't forget that. Down, up, down, up, up, nice. down, up, down. Holy crap. Up. Down, up, down. I did not think you were going to pull that Ugh. off. You completely pulled that off. Yeah. It's like the Mario Party minigame where you drop the treasure chest into the pipe and you got to, it goes all weavy and then you got to figure out who it drops on. Yeah. That's now, see, guy. that was stolen from an old arcade game called Amadar. And oh. The, the bonus stage in Amadar is exactly that, except it doesn't scroll up. Like, you get to see the whole thing the whole time. Oh, okay. Well, see, Mario Party is for real gamers, though, so like... Amadar is the yeah. realest game ever created. <laughs> it's got pigs and monkeys, and it's... You, you should get, uh, you should try out Game Room sometime. Whoa, I teleported. Oh, whoa, that's Amadar's on Game Room, but the emulation is not great. Oh, I screwed up! Oh, that's no good. How far back does it go? Looks like... All the way. All the way. <laughs> you got an achievement, though. Yeah. I like it when Sony figured out that people loved achievements. They're like, hey, we got to have our oh, own version of that. that. And so they just call them trophies and Steam's like, ah, just fucking it's achievements. That's yeah. good. Yeah, that's, achievements is the right name. Yep. 
I still missed two. I screwed up the second time too, but whatever. Yeah, I remember when there were all the rumors about Sony's trophy system and stuff. People were using the word entitlements. Yeah, that'd like be... you're gonna earn entitlements. Like, no, that's not what that word means. Yeah. <laughs> if they call it that, that's maybe the that's maybe the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> um, this looks oh, like it's getting hard. Yeah, you know, once you start getting going real fast, it's it's pretty heavy. Are you using the space bar to Hell slow no. down? <laughs> no, just don't stop for nothing. Balls to the wall yeah. all the time. All right. <laughs> Seems like that's probably important. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you're like a sucker or a dupe or a rube, like how am I ever gonna get good at it if I'm like in Training Wheel City the whole time? That, that's true, I, I can't argue that. Don't stop for nothing, man. You got that tattoo across your back. Exactly. They spelled it wrong, but that's... They said they wanted to stop and fix it, and I said, now look at what you're making me do. <laughs> that's almost as cool as my fanging and banging tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I this seems like a type of game that once you get near the end, it just goes totally bonkers. I bet. Yeah, I bet that it's a real mess at some point. <laughs> Looks like there are 12 sets of levels if you look at kind of how the achievement progress is built up. Um, Does it seem like they're all just like five or six length? Yeah. Well, that I don't know. The the three that we've seen so far have all been sets of six. Okay. Hmm. Seems like it'd be real frustrating if you're trying to get every one of them. Yeah. So it looks like that's a way, like, if I want to save fuel, I could have gone through that speed zone optionally and picked up a lot of speed. And I assume that would then require less fuel to finish the level. Gotcha. But, uh, you know. Go up. All right, what are we doing here? We're going... You are going oh, oh, geez, up and misses. then down. Up, then down, down, down. And then that thing, yeah. yeah. All right. Look at that. Yeah. I like the little fireworks show at the end of every level. Yeah. Perfect at the end there. What were the numbers you had to get at the end of Mario Brothers to get the fireworks? Was it three? Three and seven? Yeah, I want to say. Oh, you're Jason. Yeah. Aurora and Jason in space. It's Aurora Except your Aurora's ship? probably the ship. Yeah. It's like a 2001 situation mm -hmm. here, right? Yeah, searching for home system. Every leap can be the leap home. 11,000 light years from home system. Oh, okay, that's easy. Is it really? <laughs> is mean, that really interesting? If you were stuck in space, which I assume Jason is, then yes, that would be interesting and relevant knowledge. I guess, yeah. Oh, another warp network. Okay, so I guess the whole thing is like, the levels are us warping. We need to save fuel and warp and stuff. Yeah, you're trying to get home. I guess. You're adrift in space and your family's back on Earth. That's a, a weird framing for what looks like like an electrical engineering final. <laughs> um, as created by the makers of Tempest. But, yes. <laughs> but hey. Finally. Um, let's try endless mode. Cool. We also have some options. Uh, we can turn on some vector glow. Boy, oh boy. And then make these vectors oh, real thick. Oh, nope. Try it. Oh, this looks terrible. Try it. I mean, it really looks terrible. I can turn <laughs> yeah. on CRT mode also. Yeah, for like yeah, here extra. we go. All right, let's just make this. Heck, <laughs> gross. But kind of nice. I don't know, it looks warm. Yeah, in the way that like a space heater looks warm. Yeah. What the hell am I looking at here? Uh, blurry mess. All right, so this is endless mode. Uh, you can see that I'm playing here, and I want to avoid dying, uh, Ooh, as opposed to fuel. That other thing oh. is just, that's just graphics, man. That other line that up there, ignore that. So that's not some purple fella that you're playing against? I something? mean, that purple fella is just doing what purple fellas do. Right, right. Make great music. All right, um, so you see it is just rating me on my distance, so it's, it's sort of like how long can you stay alive? Like a jetpack joyride, cannibal type thing? Yeah. Nine. Okay. Sounds good. Nine. I wonder if it's the same path every time. Hmm. I bet it's not. That's my guess. If it is, it would just turn into like a Battletoads, like jet ski situation. Yeah. All right. Okay. Seven. Seven. All right. 
Does Do it seem one of those, like one of those, uh, don't blink or you might actually die games. Yeah, yeah. I just blinked. No, nope. I made it. <laughs> Jeff, don't do that. But my eyes are dry. First thing in the Prima guide says is don't blink. Nah. I didn't get the guide. No, you didn't? No. Uh. I also didn't pre order. <laughs> you didn't get the cloth map? Nope, no cloth map. Uh. Did not get the bonus in game gun that totally unbalances the game. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, once you can shoot all the fuel cells, it's just like, what are you even doing? No DLC vector skins? No. Okay. Okay, starting to speed up a little bit here. Yep. Now, looking back, Vector Man wasn't made of vectors at all. No, Vector Man sucked for a lot of reasons. <laughs> I liked Vector Man. I, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> uh, Vector Man's a terrible game. I, I was a child uh -huh. that wanted some good Genesis games late in Genesis life cycle. Yeah, no, and Vector Man was a, they made, did Vector Man 2 come out? It did. Yeah. Yeah. The, the relaunch on like the PS2 or PS3 didn't come out. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that's Trace Vector. There's, there's Endless Mode, there's Adventure Mode. I, I think Endless Mode is, is the one that is interesting to me. Um, it, it seems like if it doesn't change, though, I think that would get kind of boring. Well, let's, let's go in here and see if you recognize anything. That looks I mean, exactly starters, like it looked before. For starters, it's a different color. We'll do, oh, no, nope, okay, Purple Fell is back. All right. All right, so that's what it looks like here. Let's, let's quit. We have an orange guy first, and then purple. Well, that's just design. That's just a little designy stuff. Okay, little red things there at the bottom. I lost track of. Okay, yeah. let's just try it again. And it seems like the same general shapes. Okay, no, it's it's different. It is different. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure it starts introducing new elements once you hit like oh a thousand or you know, ten thousand or whatever. Yeah, and it looks like those uh, those flags that were appearing were me passing spots on the leaderboard. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's Trace Vector. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. You can play it on a Mac if that's your thing. Um, and yeah, it's all like, you know, cross compatible or whatever on Steam. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's kind of cool. It's, it's really basic, um, but I do like its look and the soundtrack's pretty good. So yeah. that's, uh, that counts for something. Oh, geez. Oh. Yeah, I was getting all fancy. Uh, anyway, thanks, Dan. Yeah, thank you. Jason is lost forever. Oh, no.